Hi everyone, this is Antoinette Modrak, Coordinator of Special Projects with Linden Public Schools. We have a big day coming up, April 1st, 2020, and it's not a joke. It's the 2020 Census Day. So, how do we respond to this? Hmm, I recall I got this mailer a few weeks ago, and there was a code, and there was a phone number, so I believe this is the source of where we start. So, when we look at the mailer, you can see that there's a phone number that you can call and use a special code to answer your questions. There's also a paper survey that you can fill out and they're gonna ask for that code again. Or you can go online on mycensus.gov and complete the questionnaire there. Now, if you're not sure really what to do and you're going, well, what are they gonna ask me? Well, if you go onto mycensus.gov and click on language support, there's a great tutorial and it's in many different languages. So there's no excuse for someone not to complete their census. Now, there's also the census itself comes in many different languages. So it's pretty easy for everyone to get it done. Now, what are they gonna ask you? Hmm, they're gonna ask to verify your address. They're going to ask who lives with you. They're also going to ask what's their date of birth, what is their ethnicity, what is their race, do you own or rent your home, and they're also going to say how is so how is each person related to you. Now our families are very comprehensive and all families look different. We can't include our cute little furry friends, although I wish we could, but we can't. But our brothers, our sisters, if they're living with us, our children, our grandchildren, foster children, uh, grandparents, um, any, even a roommate. You, even though you're not related, but that roommate lives with you, you need to be, there's one census per household. So in, you need to be counted. Now, once you've completed your census, you're going to take your little selfie and you're gonna post it on the 2020 Census Challenge and let everybody know that you did your part. Because what does your part actually mean? Your part means that your counted person and your family has now a voice because your count determines how many people sit in the House of Representatives, how many seats we get in Congress. And that's very important for our voices to be heard there. It's also important to let the government know what's the age groups of the people living with you because services need, may need to be provided whether we have more elderly whether we have more children zero to five um, it's very important that they know who lives where okay um, I want you to make sure you do your part if you have questions Go to the mycensus.gov. They have frequently um, asked questions and they will definitely guide you. You can always call the phone number. But just remember this. No one's going to ask you for a social security number and no one's going to ask you for your income and no one's going to even ask you if you're a citizen. They just want you to be counted. So it's very, very important that you do your part. And don't let anybody ask you for that information. There's people out there trying to do that, take advantage of us. No, we're too smart for that, all right? So just make sure you know that, I just want to make sure that you know that your information is safe and it's secure and that people can get in trouble if they try to use your information not in the way it's intended for with the census. All right, everybody, so I want to wish you a tigerific day. I want to thank you for sharing this time with me and I'm looking forward to seeing many, many selfies with your census.